Um, on occasion of uh, the solar eclipse that will happen in a couple of days, I wanted to share you, uh, share with you a story about uh, one of the most famous solar eclipses that have happened in the past century. Uh, in May of 1919, there was a solar eclipse which happened all, uh, and which was seen over multiple countries on the globe. And this particular solar eclipse made Einstein very famous. So Einstein had worked on his general theory of relativity to understand the nature of gravity. And what, one thing that he has, his theory predicted is that light rays should be bent around massive objects. So he had calculated what is the deflection that would be possible uh, because of the sun. Um, and then he found out that yes, indeed, light rays would be deflected from the sun and these deflection angles could be measured. So one of the ways to measure these deflection angles was to look at stars which were uh, on either side of the sun. And then because of the deflection of light rays coming from these stars, we would observe that the angle between these stars would be different uh, if the sun was present in between those stars or if the sun was absent. And so if you could measure these deflection angles, then uh, you could make sure that the theory of gravity that Einstein was putting forward was indeed correct. But how do you observe stars when uh, the sun is around, right? We have seen that when you can see the sun during the daytime, but all the stars disappear. So the observational idea behind this was to look at stars when there was a solar eclipse. And so in 1919, Arthur Eddington and his team, uh, they went off to an island uh, called Principe near the west coast of South Africa, of, of Africa. And then there was another expedition which was uh, led to Brazil, uh, a town called Sobral uh, in Brazil. And what they did is exactly during this eclipse, they, uh, when the moon covered the, uh, these light rays which were coming from the sun, then they could see the stars. They made sure that they could take photographs on photographic plates. There were no digital cameras at that point of time. And then they measured the locations of each of these stars. And so the light coming uh, from these stars, it got deflected because of the sun and it matched exactly uh, the angle that had been predicted by Einstein instead of matching the angles which were predicted by someone like Newton. So that particular incident, uh, it made Einstein very, very famous because it established the general theory of relativity. Now, uh, fast forwarding uh, to today's world, Einstein general Einstein's general theory of relativity is well established, uh, as well as this concept of the deflection of light rays, uh, which is now known uh, or now called as gravitational lensing. It is helping us uh, to find and detect not only very, very tiny primordial black holes, which are of the size or uh, sizes less than a human hair, but also to find exoplanets um, and also to make maps of this unseen amount of dark matter that permeates uh, the entire universe. So there are lots and lots of uses um, of gravitational lensing and all of that was possible and experimentally established by the solar eclipse that happened in 1919. So enjoy uh, the solar eclipse by keeping in mind that there are multiple scientific discoveries which are also made possible by these celestial events that happen. Thank you. So this year's solar eclipse is observable from most parts of India. So why not take this opportunity to, to go ahead and observe this celestial phenomena all over the country. Thanks.